very naughty kids but they were also uh, Arab children so a lot of them were Muslims so my job was to teach the children in the school about the six major world religions Buddhism Hinduism Sikhism Christianity Judaism and Islam now I knew about Christianity and I knew enough about Judaism but the other four I knew nothing about so to teach Islam to these Muslim kids I, and I was teaching them for public exams I had to get the books out each night and, and read about Islam to teach them and the more and more time went on the more I read the more I liked what I read I liked what I was reading until it came maybe three four months into into this journey and I found myself I was mentioning the name of Prophet Muhammad upon him be peace and, and tears would come in my eyes when I was teaching the kids or a lump would come in my throat which I quickly had to disguise because these were rough kids you know you couldn't you couldn't let anything away that with them Ramadan came and they approached me and they said sir we've got nowhere to pray in Ramadan and your classroom is the only room in the school with a carpet coincidence eh? my room was the only room in the school with a carpet and a wash basin they needed a wash basin to perform the ablution before prayer so they said can we use your classroom to pray so I get th this was this part of the journey the long and the short is that during Ramadan they prayed and I sat at the back and marked my books and prepared my lessons but basically after a few days began to watch them pray and I'd look up and say oh they're doing this now and now they're doing this and, and I became fascinated and I went to the internet and without telling them I learnt off by heart the Arabic words they were saying so at the end of Ramadan I knew how to pray these kids had taught me how to pray and as well at the beginning of Ramadan when they said can we pray in your room I said yes but also I said in solidarity with you I'm not a Muslim but I'll fast with you during the month of Ramadan so at the end of that Ramadan I'd learned how to pray and I'd fasted not for Allah's sake but I'd fasted to encourage the children's faith so more and more months went by and by this time I knew what Muslims were like I knew they were good people I felt comfortable with Muslims so I began to go to London Central Mosque to learn more about Islam for myself not to teach but for my own for my own heart and my own mind and the, 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 the final one of the talks that was given by Yusuf Islam Cat Stevens the, the famous singer and at the end of his talk I, I went up to him and said brother what do you do to become Muslim and he said well I, I said I don't want to be Muslim but if someone wanted to be Muslim what would you do he said well first of all Muslims believe in one God I said well I've always believed in one God he said and Muslims pray five times a day I said well actually I, I know how to pray in Arabic and he gave me a very puzzled look and he said and Muslims fast during Ramadan I said well actually I've, I fasted in Ramadan for the whole month and he looked me directly in the eyes and he said to me brother you are Muslim already who are you trying to fool and with those words brother you are Muslim already who are you trying to fool the call to prayer sounded in the mosque Allahu Akbar for, for Salaf al and everyone got up to go and pray in the prayer hall above and, and I was like a drunken man because I could hear in my mind brother who are you trying to fool you're Muslim already and then outside I could hear Allahu Akbar and we went up to the prayer hall and the brothers prayed in the hall and, and the sisters up above in the balcony and I sat at the back against the wall when Salat al Maghrib began and it was as if it was as if angels beyond number came into the mosque it was just the most beautiful thing when the Quran began to be recited and I began to cry and I cried and I cried and I cried like a baby and I knew in my heart that the whole journey of my life had led me to that moment and when the prayer was finished I went to use Islam and I said brother I want to become Muslim tell me what to do he said say these words after me say Ashahadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashahadu anna muhammad rasulullah I bear witness that there's no created being worthy of worship but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad
peace be upon him as his messenger. And then of course all the brothers greeted me and it, it felt 